Hi coach, it's Whitney from Get the Pancake. Today I'm going to be explaining one of my favorite drills of all time. It's a very simple drill to do, so if you're a new coach, this is going to be one of the easiest drills for you to get going. Plus, as you continue to coach, it's going to be a favorite that you come back to over and over again. What drill is it? It's Queen of the Court. Queen of the Court is super easy to get started. So let me go ahead and show you how to run it. One simple way to run Queen of the Court is to have three players get on each side of the net. Any remaining players will get on one side of the net in three different lines, each corresponding to a position on the court, either left side, middle, or right. As a coach, you're going to position yourself off to the side with a full ball cart. Now the goal of this drill is to end up on the winning side, which is what we're going to call the queen side. This is the side opposite of where the coach is. And that's it. That's the drill setup. You're ready to get started. All you need to do is grab a ball and throw it across the net. Let's say that you throw the ball in, the middle back passes to the right front who sets it to your outside player. That player hits it across the net to the other team's middle back, pass it up to the setter. Setter goes to outside outside gets a kill. The team that loses the rally is going to send one of their players to shag the ball while the remaining players go around the court, around the play, and get in the back of one of the lines on the other side of the court. While that player is shagging the ball and bringing it back to the ball cart, the winning team is going to run under the net because they won. Now they're on the queen side. The first three people in line are going to step onto the court and they are the next challengers to try to get onto that queen side. But what would have happened if the queen side won the rally? Well, let's say that the coach enters the ball and the pass comes from middle back again, goes to the setter, goes to outside, and then outside gets a kill right away. It's simple. The team that loses has to shag the ball again and they go back to the end of the line. Everyone who's first in line steps onto the court and you're good to go. I would set aside about 10 to 15 minutes to run this drill. That way you don't have players getting bored. It is a very high energy game though. So you'll get a lot of competition, you'll get a lot of touches on the ball, and you'll sprinkle in some conditioning because there is a lot of shagging and constant running. I really think you'll like this drill and continue to use it throughout your coaching career. But the way I've shown in this video is not the only way to run Queen of the Court. If you'd like to look at more variations, which I love drills that have different variations or ways that you can mix it up, go to getthepancake.com and look for my article on Queen of the Court. This will give you additional ways to run this drill, including four on four, starting the game from a serve, and more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to run Queen of the Court with your volleyball team. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and check out getthepancake.com.